We are finally here at 131 Morseworth Park. Um, like always, this place is packed. We're over here on the other side of the racetrack. There's cars uh, pitted all the way down to the end of the track. And then these are some fans that are here already. This is day one. We missed yesterday, which was practice day. Uh, had a bunch of problems with the Camaro. Had problems with brakes, had problems with suspension. We had to bend suspension arms, um, all sorts of stuff. I wasn't expecting those kind of issues. But last night, probably about seven o'clock, eight o'clock, we finally got her done. I test drove it, we loaded her up and uh, we're here. So we got the orange ZL1 here. Dad's L88, uh, hoping the old 360 camera holds up, I don't know. We got insurance on that bad boy, so if she falls off, we'll get another one. Uh, Mom's driving Jimmy's car, well, it's our car, but we call it Jimmy's car. Um, Ed here is in his Corvette, and then Ryan's gonna drive the 67 and try to bang all the gears in it. Double entered the Z01, double entered the, they're calling us right now, double entered the Corvette, my mom's car and double entered ryan's car so hopefully we'll get a lot of runs get a lot of footage for you guys and yeah they just called their class so i better get this car ready all right guys open com here we go we've got a fan that we're racing this will be pretty cool he came up to me and says he's watching videos a bunch a ton of changes in this old girl they limited me to 10 0 in open comp because I don't have my cage certed. Um, I thought they would do cage certifications here. Obviously they didn't. We got a brand new set of tires on here we're trying to break in, so I'm gonna quit talking because I'm yelling at you. How'd you do? I hit a 
it every year. Well, that's good. What'd it go, like 1380? 1384, 101. That's not bad. First time in the car? Well, I mean, that's a track you drove it yesterday, but. I hit every gear. That's all I was looking for. I got second. I'm like, all right, I need to get third. All right, I get fourth. <laughs> well, the Camaro we spun. Um, we're going up for fast next, so I'm not gonna leave as hard. Try to get a good pass. See what this thing a mile an hour, and uh, see if we picked up anything with our chain. The tires are still treaded. These aren't bald. Um, we need to try to burn them off a little bit more, but I don't want to do that big of a burnout again because it's probably melt the tires and. Too big of a burnout gets them hot and greasy and nasty. So, so fast coming up, we'll do a normal burnout and try to go, just try to go down the track. Here we go, round one of fast. Get the stupid window net in. All right, so I pulled about three degrees of timing out of it right off the hit. I'm just gonna try to make a clean A to B pass. I just don't think my tires are broken, but Larry went up with me when we both ran open comp. He was about three cars ahead of me and knocked the tires off too, so. Maybe the track just wasn't there. Who knows, we're gonna give her our best shot. See what we can do. Really wanna make a full pass and see one, what it'll mile an hour, and two, if the thing will stop or not, because I haven't tried with the new brakes yet. Kirkham on the left hand side from Wayland, New York with the 68 Corvette. Jordan Pennington on the right out of Indiana with the 69 Camaro. Left-hand side out of Indiana. So probably maybe another five, ten minutes or so, make another pass. 
I try to slip the clutch a little bit more. Try to get back to the 1384, I think I ran. And, uh, I don't know. Hopefully I can knock on a wood steering wheel. I've hit all four gears both times, so hopefully I can get them again. So we'll, that's kind of my goal every pass, I guess. With every, I guess it's a goal that everybody has in a, in a stick car, but. guys it's gonna be our last pass of the day um weather is turning around to be pretty nice it's cooled off sun's going down hopefully that is what we need for the track to tighten up to get this thing down the racetrack it's getting kind of frustrating and i loosened the front end up but this thing's not even it takes off and it just zing so it needs to go like that and suspension's not even moving um i don't know it's not even like making a full tire rotation this time I'm gonna, like I said, pull some power out of it. And then tonight I'm gonna go drive around with like five pounds and those things just up and down the return road over there, cruise around the pits, um, just break that sidewall down. I drove it a little bit last night with eight pounds in it down the road and tried to swerve back and forth, try to soften it up, but I think she needs a little bit more. Everything else is running good. The Corvette runs good and is able to go eat us pizza, which is nice. The black Corvette running good as always. This thing, I think the gas gauge does work in this. Uh, does it? I'm pretty sure it does. You got fuel in there? Yeah. I think it only said a quarter. I thought it said it had a half. It had a half when we came. That's less weight for you to go faster. 
All right, you gotta see the people staring at this camera. That's pretty funny, but uh, <laughs> we're gonna get these things ready. Hopefully they'll be calling us. I'd let, I'd be all right if it got a little darker out. If we go, I mean, the black Corvette just went at 60 was earlier today, so it's probably gonna go faster now, but I'd be happy just to go at 60 and see what the mile an hour is like um, and not burn the tires to the eighth mile like we did the last pass. Last qualifying run and fast. Got next to my dad, so hopefully this old girl will want to take him down. Track should be good. Let's see what we can do. Right out, and I stayed with him the entire time. What you? Oh, the convertible you raced him? Yep. That was probably a yep. fun race. It was. He would like, I, but come on, come <laughs> on, come on. What do you run? 1381. And he, and he ran a 50. I ran a 58. Wow. He must have got out on you big time he on the did. tree. And, uh, his reaction was a 187. Mine was a 583. What were you waiting on? I don't know. That's half a second. <laughs> <laughs> 2160 foot versus 2 2. Last pass went very well. Track hooked 
great like that's the normal prep that we're used to being on uh, I believe I've got the tires better than they were so I actually feel pretty good about this thing I know I could have left harder and for it to still go a 970 with a real crappy 158 60 foot is uh, pretty impressive bad news uh, the black Corvette blew a head gasket so this thing's been problem free uh, let's see going on a little over a year and a half now um, we don't even have to get this thing out of the trailer I mean, it just comes out of the trailer just to get you know buffed on and cleaned up she finally uh, just blew a head gasket you know these motors we push them pretty hard they probably should be freshened up or gone through once a year uh, we never went through that one because it ran its best pass at the last event last year um, and then at a test and tune it actually went a 932 on the bias plies and that was the last event or that was the last time we had the thing out so we knew the thing was strong but uh, it just blew a head gasket we've got no data showing anything wrong air fuel looked good uh, everything looked good but I think uh, she just lifted the heads probably stretched a head bolt or something we are pushing these things uh, pretty hard being naturally aspirated engines and uh, she just kind of had enough so luckily we caught it I think before we heard anything um, not sure I mean they are aluminum heads so hopefully we didn't hurt the head any but uh, I'm gonna have to winch the old girl into the trailer and that'll be it so Ryan in the green Corvette what do you think glad you brought it because you weren't gonna drive anything yeah I'm glad I did don't have any regrets of bringing it yet. Yeah, you've hit every gear. Hit every gear. That's Back on a wrap trailer. I haven't uh, haven't missed one yet. So that's good because uh, if you guys remember last year, Ryan killed the transmission Not in the blue '66. Sure. <laughs> so, but it was the first time racing a stick shift, and like I said earlier today, I any gear is either. better you than no gear. A couple of gears, pretty or missing a couple of gears in that car. I drove hard. it after you drove it. <laughs> okay <laughs> but all right guys so that's gonna be it for today we're gonna do another video for tomorrow and for sunday so thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the next one please tell me that i can't that i won't that i fail that i'll never make it out yeah please tell me all the bad the good fill my head full of every single doubt yeah please say any negative thoughts i pop off when i hear people say